Det var bra så jag fick en nej och Jag har inget, nej jag har inget gott i det. Nej. Hi guys, this is an update on Rex after the uh, terrible attack we uh, experienced last evening. And now it's uh, the next day, it's Friday afternoon and um, this is a short update. Uh, first I want to say that uh, Rex is okay. Uh, he's tired. He's lying right next to me. There he is. And this is, by the way, the mattress on the floor. I, uh, I uh, slept on the floor with Rex this night. Uh, so he would feel uh, comfort and uh, kind of for me as well, I guess. So here he is, my baby boy. My poor baby boy, he's asleep. Um, we just got him home from the vet. He's been uh, through surgery. He's got one bite up here. That is not a big problem. This one here uh, was a little bit deeper. So the vet said that we need to drain the wound. So um, they had to give him anesthesia so he would go to sleep and they made a short, quick um, surgery to, uh, to be able to drain the wound. And uh, he's still waking up from the surgery. He's uh, very tired. He just got home and he had those cone things around his head. <laughs> so. Poor baby. Hi, he's not Hi, So he's uh, very sleepy, he's going to be sleepy for quite some time, I guess. Last time we um, had him use um, anesthesia was when we made an x-ray of his uh, joints uh, on his legs and that's for the breeder um, just to make sure they are okay and they were there was not a problem but when he was uh, using anesthesia last time it took a long time before he wake up really to be himself again so I'm sure he'll be fine at the end of all this and they, as you can see they have um, shaved his hair around um, the injury and there was an actually uh, there's a little bit blood there there was actually a bite on this side as well a small bite right here we didn't notice that first the vet noticed that so he will of course get painkillers so he won't feel any pain I don't think um, he'll be limping that much anymore not with the painkillers when he woke up this morning I was afraid he would not even be able to stand up but uh, he had no problem standing <coughs> excuse me and uh, very little problem walking hardly any limping at all but that was because he got a painkiller last night that was still in effect um, so 
I'm sure with painkillers he'll be fine for a while. And also he is um, getting antibiotics because they were afraid that um, because the injury was so close to nerves that um, there might be an infection. So they said it's might as well give him painkillers as well. Um, so that's my poor baby. He's asleep, more or less, half awake, half asleep. Let's see if I can get his face. So I'm basically sitting here next to him, making sure he's all right. Um, and he will be all right, I think. In uh, tomorrow, he'll be just fine. I don't think we need that cone even because he can't reach to lick those areas. The problem will be if he's uh, scratching with his back legs on on this area here. That will be a problem. Uh, so well, I'll try to make him not do that. I don't know how we'll we'll stop him from that, but I hope he won't do it. Uh, all this, I, 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 yes, I want to say one thing also, that the, the local vet, Landskrona Smogels Clinic, uh, they were super in every way. Uh, we got an emergency um, uh, booking and uh, we got to see the vet right away and they said we are fixing this right away. And a couple of hours later they called and said, okay, we can pick him up. So that was uh, excellent. Thank you very much to them. They are specialists and they are really, really great vets. We are so lucky to have them. And <clears throat> so what What did all this cost? With the medicine and the um, examination and the uh, surgery and everything, anesthesia and all that, uh, that costs 6,400 Swedish crowns. That's uh, the same as about uh, 676 US dollars or 600 euros. Uh, normally, we would tell our uh, insurance company to take care of, of this and we would just pay uh, like 10% or something. Um, but in this case, it was not Rex who was the bad guy. It was the other dog that attacked him. So the other dog's owner has said, I pay all the bills and uh, I will meet him later tonight uh, at his home. And we will clear up what happened and he will pay the, the veterinarian and the medicines and everything. And he will in... Uh, he will talk to his insurance company, I guess. So the money is not a problem. So even if uh, that was not the case, that would not be the problem anyway, because we got insurance on Rex. Um, and uh, yes, uh, many of you guys who had um, uh, made um, uh, comments uh, on the last video said you must do a police report uh, and I will I will do a police report I just want to make sure I will get the money first and I do a police report um, the man whose uh, dog attacked us is uh, uh, he said he's very sorry actually he called me I called in this morning and said that we are going to the vet and, and so on. And uh, he, called, he called us uh, right after we came out from the vet. And he was asking how, how was it going and how is Rex and everything. So he's, he's a good guy, but I'm not sure he's the good, correct guy to handle a Rottweiler. Because um, this wouldn't happen if he was that guy. Uh, he said actually that he was thinking about giving away the dog or something like that. I, he didn't. I wasn't even sure he wanted to keep the dog after this. He was kind of startled actually, and he was uh, very sad about everything that has happened. 
So, Rex will be fine. Um, and on Tuesday, we will go to the vet and they will pull this one out and it will be fine. And it will have this uh, ridiculous shaving for a while, I guess. <laughs> You need to show the other side to the ladies, Rex, so they don't see your ridiculous shaving. So I will have to talk to a dog daycare. Uh, he will stay home all weekend, of course, and uh, he will stay home Monday, Tuesday, and we'll see on from that how we how we deal with it. Maybe the Rex start of next week, maybe. And after that, I'm working next week, but. After that, I'm uh, home on vacation, summer vacation. So, um, another shot of Rex sleeping. He's saying thank you, everyone. I just want to say thank you, everyone. You have all been so nice and uh, so much love you have shown Rex and me and... Um, we thank you very much from the bottom of our hearts for all the love you have uh, given us during this uh, sad moment in Rick's history. Um, so thank you for all the love and all the support. And I will keep you posted about uh, whatever happens to Rex and his injuries. But I'm uh, expecting a full recovery. Uh, the only thing I'm afraid of is that if he's back paw will scratch this area that's not good so we had to prevent that somehow so okay this was not the friday video i was expecting to uh, show you guys but <laughs> um as i said i will uh, watch over rex and um, thank you again for all the love and support see you around next time guys have a good weekend Bye.